We have uh, Connor and Fintan McCormick here with something that's very high tech. It's called a 3D matrix printer. Uh, Connor, tell me, what is this? What does it do? Hi, Pat. Well, we've developed a machine that we believe is going to revolutionize what people design and innovate in the future. Quite simply, Air Machine can turn your ideas into a physical reality. So, for example, all you need is to put three reams of paper into the machine here. A4 paper. A4 paper. And on your computer or your PC, once you have your design on the computer, you hit print and you come back a couple of hours later and the machine makes a 3D object of what you can see here on top of the screen. Alright, let's have a look at the uh, screen here on this laptop, right? And there is uh, scanned in the image of uh, a man, okay? So you scan that into your PC, it's connected up to your machine, and look at what comes out. This is uh, extraordinary. Yeah. How long did that three-dimensional version of the scanned head take to make? That part took about um, six hours to make. Six hours, yeah. yeah. And you don't, it's, it's not just only on a scan. If you can draw it on your computer, or you can download designs from the website. Once you can get it onto your, onto your PC, this machine can make it, so anything at all. Now, what, what are the applications for this? I see, alas, poor Yorick, I knew you love it. And, and it's made of paper and glue. Um, how much does this machine cost? Well, it's, it's retailing at 24950 but it's, it doesn't compete with a regular printer that you think of like a HP or a Xerox. Oh. It's really, it, 3D printers are kind of a niche market, but this market is just about to expand rapidly. Expand and have you got some editors? We have. We are two main competitors are in the U.S., but uh, we are 50 times cheaper to run than our competitor. Plus, because we use paper and a water-based adhesive, we are the only eco-friendly 3D printer in the world. So Presumably, you could scale up and have bigger paper and therefore bigger models. Yes, it'd be very easy just to go to um, A3 or A1 paper. Or All right. Fantastic. Just one yeah, last just thing for the for the game of rugby tomorrow. We did a predictive score. Ireland 21, Scotland 3. Oh, there's so. optimism. <laughs> Let me give that to you. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay. That's great, isn't it? Absolutely great. Fantastic. All right. Um, www.mcoretechnologies.com. Thank you very That's much, great. guys. Thanks, man. Fantastic. Thank you. And you can see this is the part of the paper that fit over uh, that was the waste part of the ring and when you take it out you can see that the negative uh, built into the part into the waste and it's a simple case because we selectively put down the adhesive so, um, some really fine high resolution on this so if I scale this down so you can scale your models, uh, you can orientate the part uh, whatever way you want okay. in 90 degrees or you can put in individual degree increments. Um, and there's an example of a scan uh, of someone's face. The profile changes as you come up through the layers and every one of these is a, is a sheet. Every one of these is a sheet that you pull in. And that's the three-dimensional shape going up through the nose, through the mouth. There's the mouth and the tip of the nose. 
That's the chin. And then the nose is the last piece. Yeah.